hello friends today in this tutorial i will be showing you that uh, how to do a very, very simple form validation inside php so for that i have created an index.php file and inside this i will be writing my html code here doc type html and uh, inside this html tag will be there if i close this now like this after this i will be having the head tag if i close this right here and give it a simple title of uh, form validation in php and just close the title here and now inside the body we will be having the form tag close the body as well so form autocomplete we have to set it to off here and we also need to close this form tag here like this and we will be giving a method to it of post and the action will be the same action here this will be the action and now inside this we will be having a input field of uh, type text this will be name is equal to username and the second will be input type uh, password name will be password and lastly we will be having a submit button input submit value will be register like this and now guys what we want here is that we if i just refresh the application localhost form handling you will see that two input field will be there and now we just need to write the php code right here before the put a php tags here and now we have made a method of post now in order to retrieve the values we can just uh, first of all check that in a if condition here if empty empty is a function in order to check whether the field is uh, empty or not here we will use dollar dot post and then provide the name attribute which is username in this case so basically this if condition returns true or false depending upon whether the username field is return or not so this is a validation function so if it returns true then in that case we will be declaring a variable which will be error like this and here we will be initializing it please enter the username like this put a semicolon let me just name this error variable as the username underscore error so if it happens then it will initialize it to that and uh, after that we will have another if condition here we will check here empty dollar post password same like this now if the password field is empty then in that case we will be declaring another variable which will be password error like this and in this we will be just be alerting the user please enter the password put a semicolon like this and lastly we will be displaying the details here so in the else block here so we just need to bind this as else if like this sorry let me just eliminate this so after these two conditions here if conditions uh, we just need to exit out process dot exit here let me just call this function process after declaring these error variables we just need to display them also so now after the input field we can just display these errors in the span tag so in order to display it is it is very easy put the php tag echo username error put a semicolon and close the php tags and also after the input field put a span tag and print out the password error variable close the php tags and close the span tag also and now if i refresh the application and if i 
you will see that if I need to you can see that all these messages are printed out please enter the username and please enter the password and one problem is there these messages are printed out I have not submitted this form so to prevent this we just need to write a very simple line of code let me just see here just wait here you just need to provide this if condition that if the server request method is post so basically you just need to wrap your PHP code inside if condition here if dollar underscore server and there is a property which is request method let me just cross check this needs to be capital all request method so if the request method is of post here so in this case it is a post method so in that case we just need to wrap all these code here like this and now you will see that these error messages will not will not be printed out and one other uh, we need to sort out this error here undefined variable this is very easy we just need to wrap this whole PHP code inside if block here if is set and here we just need to pass our variable which is uh, username error like this so in that case only if the variable is set then only print it and same this we need to repeat it for the password variable as well so is set and now if I refresh it the error, error will be gone here so if I refresh it you will see that and now if I click register you will see that it the form will not submit you can see that So this is a very simple example of uh, PHP form handling here, uh, form validation. So I have printed out this uh, username and if I click register, in that case I have not written the password so that is why it is not submitting this form. So this in this easy way you can just handle PHP form validation.